Hi everyone. In this video, we will cover uh, how to use the APMs inspector session to find the locators or the inspect the elements. So for that, first we will open our Android Studio. Here, go to the Virtual Device Manager and launch the Virtual Device. So I have created this device in the last video. I will launch it. And also, you can open your APM desktop. So, now this device is ready, and I will also start my APM server. So, host is 0000 and port is 4723. Click on the start button, and the service is started. Now, and our device is also ready. Now, here we have to select this option start inspector session. For that, we can also verify using command prompt like our device is successfully connected. So, you can use command adb devices and we can see emulator 5554 device is connected. So, our this device is connected successfully. Now go to this select inspector session here. Now in the last video we have created one desired capability for this Android Pixel 5 API 30 device. So we have selected like platform version 11.0 platform name Android. This is our device name Pixel 5 API 30 automation name you are automated to and also at the time we have installed this automate app on that virtual device now select this demo and click on this start session button our device should be visible here if it is not visible you can click here refresh once so yeah our app is visible now this is same app this is running on here on the virtual device and we have opened this app in the inspector session so here you have different options like select elements swipe by coordinates tap by coordinates back refresh start recording search for element copy xml and source so now suppose I want to find the X path of this accept button. So for that I can select this option select elements and click here on the accept button. Now here you can see the different properties like I can find the locator using this ID using this X path. Also there are different attributes associated with this accept button and here also you can see the x path like you can see the source code here and you can find the x path from here as well so you can create your own relative x path so right now suppose i select this id and uh, apart from that there are also certain attributes like check is false clickable enable these are the different attributes associated with this element now Suppose I selected this ID and I want to check and find the locator like uh, which will be matching with this accept button. So I have selected here ID. There are different locator uh, strategies which we can use like ID, XPath name, class name, accessibility ID, UI, automator. Right now I am using this ID locator strategy and I have copied that ID and pasted here and I will click on search. So you can see like it is matching with only one element. So we can make use of this ID because it is matching with only one element on this page. So it will not throw any exception or we will not, uh, our script will not break during the execution. So we can make use of this ID. Similarly, uh, we can or try to find the different experts. So suppose uh, while automation, I found the expert of this 
accept button i have used this id to click on this accept button so and i want to move to other steps now so in the inspector session now i want to click on this accept button so for that i will select this accept button and here you get the option like tap so using this i will click on this now suppose i want to click on this side menu button so i have selected this option click here and again tap now i want to find the x path of this settings in this side menu option so select then click here and you will get the all the properties associated with it so you have here x path and the all the attributes now this is the x path of that settings button so i have already created the relative x path for this so using this we are getting only one here so it's this uh, locator strategy is matching with only one element and hence you will be able to execute this successfully in your automation script so i will click on this settings button right now if i want to click this in the inspector session select this element and click on yeah suppose i want to uh, scroll to the bottom during the inspector session so for that you can click on this uh, option swipe and here you can select one option and then you can drag in this way so you can see it will drag so now i want to again drag it or swipe it scroll it so you can see it is scrolling down Suppose I want to uh, find the last, uh, go to the last of this web page. So, in this way, in the inspector session, you can make use of this swipe to scroll. So, you have the different options as well. Like, if you want to tap to the certain coordinates, then that you can use that options. If you want to move to the back, button you have to you want to click this back button you can select this option if you want to refresh the page you can use this option in the inspector session and if you want to search uh, for the particular locator strategy for the particular id xpath or the class name you can make use of this so in such a way you can uh, use this inspector session and you can uh, once you find those x path and the locators you can use those in your automation script in the next video we will cover how you can uh, uh, install this uh, apk file on your real devices so till now we have covered like how we can uh, uh, create a virtual device and install a apk file on it and then we can debug or find connect uh, our inspector session on that particular app in the next video we will be connecting uh, with the real devices we will try to install this apk file on the real device and we will try to perform some actions there